Hello and welcome back to Mac at the Movies. Today I've got for you another unpackaging from the Disney Movie Club as well as Disney Movie Insider. So, um, yeah, I'm going to show you what I picked up. Cashed in some points. Uh, again, the movie I wanted, they didn't have. Uh, so I went with another one that I've had my eye on. Uh, and uh, that I will, I'll just go ahead and share that one first. And then we'll get into that. So we'll see what I picked up for free. I uh, hope everyone out there is doing well. I know I am. And uh, hopefully this will keep that trend going. If I can get in the box, the package. What's in here? I don't know what this is. Oh, a bonus code of some kind. Uh, I guess a, a Disney movie club. Uh, I guess it's their way of uh, doing a little trick, trick or treat. Um, I guess I can get some bonus points or something. So thank you, Disney. Uh, for that. Uh, but I picked up with uh, all the points that I had been gathering uh, the Pixar film Onward. Uh, and so there's going to be a main theme here. I, I figured I I'd go ahead and share this with this because, you know, you have two, I guess they're ogres or trolls or something. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Yeah. But I, I felt like checking this out, and I've heard uh, it's good for jerking a tear or two out of your eyes uh, at the end of it. So I've never seen it, I don't know, but I've heard it's quite the tear jerker at the end. Uh, but now, to get into this one, uh, we'll go ahead and, uh, if I can, uh, I'll show you what I picked up. Um, there was one thing that was a pre-order that did not come with this. I won't get it until next month, which might leave you to know what that might be. So let me get all this wonderful goodness off to the side, uh, and then I will start to share things. The kitty cats are uh, coming in. They wanted to see what... A old Pa was doing. But let me get these out so I can share with those. I don't know what this is. What is this? I don't know. I guess I can order something special. What is this? New ornament offer. Purchase regular price title. New Oh, okay, so they've they've added, I guess, to this, I can, I guess, purchase some more stuff that I, I may want and uh, throw it in an envelope to send back to uh, the Disney Movie Club, and, and I can get an ornament, uh, which is something I have right here. Uh, it's the only thing that uh, is different from the whole package. But uh, I'll share that at the, at the very end. I'll share all that at the very end, and then we'll get into that. I'm just rambling and going through things, but uh, I got everything right here. So uh, I went with this month's feature title, and that is Disney's Haunted Mansion. Uh, I wanted to get this. I didn't see it in the theaters. Uh, I was hoping to, and I kept on pushing it off until eventually it wasn't in the theater anymore, and so I missed out. But uh, I picked this one up. Uh, I enjoyed the Eddie Murphy one. I thought that one was a lot of fun. Uh, but I'm eager to see what this one has to offer. Uh, it's got a, you know, a fun cast, so we shall see. And with that came the uh, Haunted Mansion lithograph. Uh, this one, I think because it's Haunted Mansion, I'm debating greatly on whether or not to keep it. Uh, because so far, the only lithograph that I have that I really want to keep is my Frankenweenie lithograph. 
So I think I may keep this one as well, uh, but we shall see. I do know all my other lithographs I'm throwing into a box that I will eventually give away. Uh, but yes, uh, anywho, going on with that theme, uh, I picked up Disney's Tower of Terror. Uh, I don't know if I should say Disney, uh, prefacing the, the movie title. I think it's understood, but, you know, Disney owns a lot of different studios now. So, uh, but yes, Tower of Terror. I picked this up. I have this on VHS. Uh, that was the last time I watched it. Uh, I lived in an apartment like five years ago, and I watched it there. I remember I was folding some laundry, as I want to do, and I like to watch a movie. Uh, usually a Disney title when I'm folding laundry uh, or something to that effect. But I picked that up. And then this one I was so glad to pick up. It's one that I really wish uh, would have been on the big screen. Uh, I did a review on this channel for this film. Uh, but the scenery in this film is just stunning. It's beautiful. It's everything. Um, but that is, uh, the film Prey. Uh, it's like the, uh, the prequel to Predator. Uh, and I thought this movie was just overall aesthetically beautiful. Um, but I picked that up 4k, so I, I'm eager to get into this and check it out. Uh, and, uh, and yes, so, uh, those are what I picked out. Of course, I got a, uh, pre-order, uh, for another movie, which I'll share when that comes in. Uh, well, not a movie, but anywho, you probably know what it might be. Uh, that'll narrow it down. It might be something. Uh, and then I picked up this to go along with, uh, all the other VIP pens that uh, I've been getting in that I have duplicates of uh, that I will give out in a giveaway box. And that is uh, Bunny and Ducky VIP pen from Toy Story 4. So I like that one. Uh, this is one I gotten before and I really enjoyed those characters. So I figured I'd uh, throw that into the box. Uh, there are a couple of other VIP pins that uh, hopefully I'll be able to collect two more uh, if I do orders for both November and December. Uh, I may only do one more, but um, I will be able to throw that pin into the box when I do give it away. And um, I'll give away stuff like this. Uh, I've got stuff from last year, and I'll do it again this year, but uh, the stickers and stuff like that for like Christmas presents. Uh, so I'll give those away. But, uh, one thing I got, uh, that I get every year is, or that I've been getting every year is the Disney Mickey Christmas ornaments. So yeah, this year's it's, uh, let's give it a gander, shall we see what this looks like. So, uh, you know, I'll eventually get a tree, uh, sometime down the line. And I, I have some ornaments that I'd gotten from uh, some friends. Uh, like, uh, uh, you can't see it, but up on the top shelf up here, I have a, a Gremlins ornament. And uh, I have a an ornament with uh, C-3PO and my uh, Star Wars favorite, Babu Frick. Uh, both of which are ornaments my friend Amanda gave me. Uh, and they will eventually don the tree uh, with such ornaments like this. Uh, when I do get one. Uh, again, it has to be down the line when uh, a cat is not going crazy over playing with all sorts of dangly ornaments and stuff. But this is uh, essentially what I got in this month's, and this is a side package, but uh, this month's uh, Disney Movie Club. So uh, did anyone else pick this up? And if you did, did you keep with the theme and go with a, you know, a park ride double, double feature? Uh, when, the last time I went to Disney, uh, I rode this, I couldn't tell you how many times, probably like five or six times. Uh, so I guess I can tell you how many times. But um, 
I, I rode it once during the day, used the fast pass because you get like, I, I think well, at the time you got like three fast passes and one of them we used for Haunted Mansion. Uh, and then you, you, you realize pretty quick that at the end of the night when all the fireworks are going off, uh, for the people who like the, the oohs and the ahs of all the spectacular fireworks, um, they s tend to stay away from the rides. So there's no line at any of the rides for the most part. And I, I rode the Haunted Mansion like four times in a row. It was, it was great. I loved it. Not that it changed or did anything different, but it was just fun and, you know, uh, everything. But uh, Tower of Terror, that's one I, I think that's going to take a lot of coaxing uh, on someone's behalf to get me to go on it because I do not uh, like the gut drop feeling. Uh, it's why I don't do many roller coasters. Uh, like I, I go on some, like the Harry Potter coaster I went on. I'll go on things like kitty coasters and like I enjoyed Slinky Dog. Uh, at one point in time, I thought I was in trouble <laughs> on Slinky Dog uh, during one dip, but uh, it ended up being nothing. Uh, but uh, yeah, not a fan of coasters myself, uh, with the exception of some. Really looking forward to Tron, but uh, the the Tower of Terror. As much as I really wanted to go on it, I really really wanted to go on it. Uh, I, I just, I hate the gut drop feeling. It, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. Uh, and so I've just never gone on it. Uh, I, I think I'll have to eventually because, I mean, it's the Tower of Terror. It's Twilight Zone themed, uh, at least one in Florida. And yeah, I, I'll, I'll have to eventually go on it, you know grow up and just go on the stupid ride. But um, I, I actually got made fun of because uh, a kid, while we were waiting in the Slinky Dog line, was just like, can we go on the Tower of Terror again? And uh, the person I was with was just like, see, even a child wants to do it. What, uh, you know, to each his own. Anywho, that's what I got. <laughs> and, uh, my long story of roller coasters and whatnot aside. Uh, but, uh, what did you get, uh, on the Disney movie club this month? Did you get anything? If you did, what was it? Um, and, uh, if it was something, did it match in some fun way? Uh, not that Prey really matches with any of it, but I guess technically you can consider this, uh, in the horror genre in a sense. I think it fits more in the sci-fi action. Uh, but I recently saw Predator on the big screen and... That was quite gruesome of a film in some spots. So I can see where it dips its foot in the horror uh, and the spooky stuff and whatnot. Uh, but anyway, that's what I got. I hope uh, everyone out there, again, like I said at the beginning, is doing well. Uh, and thank you all for stopping by. Uh, but I'm going to get out of here, cook some dinner, play with my cats, and, uh, and go from there. So uh, as always, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you next time.